I thank you for your service officers and you have a hard job. And I know that um, that if you're married, then that means you, you, you kiss your wife, you kiss your husband before you leave for work. You don't have no promise from God, you're gonna, no promise that you're gonna get back to your work right, or get back to home. Cause you may die in the job cause you have a, a very dangerous job. I recognize that. And so um, unlike, you know, groups like BLM or Antifa, we actually appreciate the police when they're doing their job, when, when they're not being tyrants, because there's a lot of them in this country, I've met them. But I, I appreciate your service and um, for doing this dangerous job. Because you, you never know when, you never know when someone's gonna shoot you. You never wanna know when someone's gonna come at you, right? Because it, it, you, you go to your next call, you don't know what's gonna happen, right? So I mean, it's a dangerous job. And I, and I wanna ask you, um, um, Corporal and Aaron and is Officer Harris. I don't. I didn't get your first name, but do you know where, where you stand before God? And that, that's why I'm out here. You know, as yeah. giving people the gospel. Do you know where you stand before God? Well, I know I'm saved, but yeah. I do confess God. You know what I'm saying? In Jesus Christ. So uh, I have a relationship with God. So, so if you died on the job today, if you went your next call, someone shoots you, you and you die, um, where will you go? And you're, you're sure about that? I'm sure about that. Well, you, you will in, indeed, uh, um, Corporal Aaron, if, or Corporal Andrew, let me, uh, you, you, you will if you tr put your full trust in Jesus Christ alone yeah, for salvation. So, and yourself, Officer Harris? Same? You'll... Yeah, you take it easy and be safe, all okay? And I, and I encourage you also to, um, you may already know this is happening. Some people you, don't. The only, hmm? only thing about it, you know, Yeah. With, with showing your calls and whatnot, yeah. you got to recognize that there are small children that see this stuff. Oh, I know. So you got to take into consideration I that do. how it impacts them I as do. well. I do. So I had one. I had one mom complaining to me about her five-year-old, and I and I seeing this, and I told her, "Ma'am, I've had five-year-old children stand with me as I hold these signs, and they're fine. They have compassion. So I mean, we need to. Ha and I'm and I'm saying this as an exhortation to you, if if you truly are my brother and sister in Christ, we need to have compassion upon these children and not murder them and we need to work to abolish abortion in this country here in Mississippi all throughout America because the hand of God the judgment of God is upon this nation for all the innocent bloodshed we have spilled just as King Manasseh filled Jerusalem in the Old Testament one end of Jerusalem to the other end he filled with innocent blood and God would not pardon the sins of King Manasseh and he judged Jerusalem Three generations after King Manasseh died, God judged Jerusalem three generations later for those sins. And that's, I think that's in 1 Kings, 1st or 2nd Kings. And God is judging that judgment of, of, the judgment of God is upon this nation for all the innocent bloodshed we have spilled. We're a guilty nation. And I, I praise God for the freedoms we have in this nation, the freedom I could even do this at the moment. But it grieves me how how far we have gone from the law of God. That we slaughter babies every day. We, we have homosexuals parade in the streets while the police protect them and promote it. I was at the Chicago Pride Parade in June and it, and it grieved me to see police cars in the parade with the um, rainbow colors on the, on the, on the cars. Police doing that, and it, it's, it's grievous. We've turned police into protectors of, of, of perversion. And I mean, maybe you wouldn't do that. Well, I hope you wouldn't because you profess to be Christian. So I hope you'd have nothing to do with that. But but I hope that this, you'll, I don't know if you've seen these images before or like it, possibly. Uh, I mean, this is a disturbing image, though. I'm not yeah, going to lie to you. Yeah, you're right, it is. And it's, my hope is that it will disturb yourself, uh, Corporal Andrew and, and Officer Harris, and will disturb you so much that you'll take action to, to, to address it, just like I am. And, um, because as officers, you're 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 lesser magistrates, um, and and you yeah I know that these the last surgical murder mill abortion mill shut down recently in Jackson. I'm aware of that, but there are still pharmacies. I'm assuming here in Jackson. I don't live here, but is there any one? Is there any particular reason why you're standing right here? Uh, it's a busy intersection. I go to busy intersections, busy places, and there uh, is it the best place? I don't know. There's you know there's a lot of traffic here. And I, I try to do busy intersections Saturday mornings unless there's a, an event going on. And I go to where people are. And um, and they often they don't want me there. <laughs> but just like the apostles, you know. But um, 
But there's, if you want to know, like, do some more research on this, there's a website on the bottom here, abolishhumanabortion.com. Didn't they stop abortion around the country? No, they, that, people think that, Christians think that, because of Roe v. Wade being overturned. Right. But there are places like Florida, like Georgia, um, which, Lord willing, I'm going to be going this coming week um, to Georgia, there, uh, Illinois. Mississippi North, North, well, uh, I'm going to get to that real quick. North Carolina, these are all places where the surgical murder mills are still open. I, I see, I see uh, Christians that I know in these areas that I've been to talking about it, showing pictures, they're murdering babies in these places. And people from Mississippi, people from Texas, people from states where they and Wisconsin where they don't murder babies surgically anymore, they're going to these other states. People from Mississippi are going to Florida, they're going to North Carolina, they're going to Georgia to have their babies murdered surgically. In addition to that, so I mean, they're, they're leaving the state to do that, but also they don't really, as far as I know, um, birth control pills, the Plan B pill is still available over the counter in pharmacies, as far as I know. And so I mean, if that's happening, babies are still being murdered through the birth control pill. A lot of Christians, I used to be one of them, don't know that, that, that children die through the birth control pill that they, they're starved to death of the nutrients. They cannot implant to the uterine wall. Oftentimes, they cannot implant to the uterine wall. And so, I mean, we need to, we need to have pharmacies, we need to have the birth control pills outlawed, just like sur the surgical murders have been outlawed. And until that happens, Mississippi still has blood on its hands, and we haven't repented. We need to repent of all the bloodshed we've allowed through surgical abortion, through the chemical pill, through in vitro fertilization, Blood is everywhere in this nation.